As a dad and as a parent, you're always hoping that you know your your daughter will find somebody that you know they you know they'll be happy with, right? The first time I met Sammy, we and we were talking and just getting to know him, um, getting a little learn about his family. Um, you know, it's at that point that I knew you know I got had this genuine feeling about Sammy, and you know, first how first impressions are that you know they're usually right. Um, so the day that he came and asked to marry Katie, I said, of course, you know, there, there's no question there, you know, just remembering that first experience and getting to know him. Definitely not what people assume twins are like. We have never finished each other's sentences. I talk a lot and she does not talk. We couldn't change places because we've never looked alike and she's a rule follower. Katie was also smart in school and I was a little worried about the plans for the weekend. Katie always just went with what I said was going on. And this leads to one of the memories my sister still talks about today. <laughs> when we were younger, my dad built us a pretty awesome treehouse in the woods. So over time, we had this perfect path that went down the hill. So one winter day, I thought it was genius to go sled riding down this hill, and my sister hit about seven trees on the way down <laughs> and went crying inside to my mom and dad. And she still complains, even though she's still smarter. Years ago, Katie went along with one of my grand ideas, not knowing it would be life-changing and the best thing ever. My husband was in Sammy's older brother, Joey's wedding, and I got to talking to Sammy. Never had met him before. <laughs> we started talking, and after a few too many beers, Sammy agreed to meet my sister. So I called Katie and she agreed to go to a wedding the next day that she didn't even know anybody with and thank goodness because it's been history ever after sammy you have made my sister so happy and i couldn't have picked a better partner for her being your matron of honor i should give you guys advice it's not the typical admit when you're wrong Katie, you don't have to admit when you're wrong. Or tell each other you love each other every day. Although those things are good, I'm going to tell you guys to pray together every day. And always remember, marriage is between the two of you and God. So if that is done, marriages stay strong. And when people tell you marriages work, I have realized it just means you always have to care. When you go through rough patches and you think the worst, as long as you care, you will, sit, you will get through it. I know today, being the best day of your life, you can't imagine killing Sammy, but this is gonna happen. <laughs> Happy is the man who finds a true friend, and far happier is he who finds that friend in his wife. I wish you guys a lifetime of happiness, and remember, to be happy with a man, you must understand him a lot and love him a little. To be happy with a woman, you must love her a lot and try not to understand her at all. I'm Sammy taking care of to be my wife. I'm Samuel taking Catherine to be my wife. I promise to be true to you. I promise to be true to you. In good times and in bad. In good times and in bad. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. I will love you. I will love you. And honor you. And honor you. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. I can't take you singing to be my husband. 
I, Catherine, take you, Samuel, to be my husband. I promise to be true to you. I promise to be true to you. In good times and in bad. In good times and in bad. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. I will love you. I will love you and honor you all the days of my life. Me and Sammy are identical twins, and I've been mistaken about 11 times today. People that know me really well say congratulations. I'm like, no, I'm Teddy, not Sammy. Oh, okay. I just like to go down memory row with having an identical twin brother. When we were little, we did get in a lot of trouble together, especially when we were like two. Somehow we got on top of the refrigerator, helping each other with the chair. And yeah, I don't remember that, but I've been told. And wrecking a car into our old dump truck. I think he was a driver. He was working the steering wheel, I was working the gas pedal. Couldn't find a break at that time. Uh, I'm done. <laughs> Raise your glasses. Too many memories. Cheers.